Welcome to the second episode of our series on Japan's most practical, comfortable, and innovative high ace camper vans. For those of you who missed part one, the link to the video is in the description below. The first of the high aces that caught our eye was made by a small brand, White Top, founded in 1983 in Kumamoto Prefecture. This finely crafted van has all the basic features you would want in a 5.38 meter long, wide, high roof, high ace. To put it in perspective, the interior volume and exterior dimensions are hardly different from the Fiat Ducato L2H1 with 10 cubic meters. Unfortunately, the high ace with its 9.8 cubic meters volume is not easy to make spacious due to the shape of its body, with walls tapering sharply towards the roof. The Nordic style of the Aji Sashi clearly has a Northern European flair, from the pleasing color palette to the sophisticated minimalist details. At the entrance, there is a large, multifunctional L-shaped seating area that can comfortably seat up to four adults. This lounge area can also be converted into a bed. However, this is not necessary. The camper van has been designed to be perfectly functional with two separated areas, complete with a dedicated space for a portable toilet. Under the sofa is the electrical system, two 100 ampere hour batteries. In addition, there is a Webasto air heater fitted inside the sofa. A worktop with a sink and drawers is provided in the kitchen area. Water tank storage under sink and a 30 liter drawer fridge are also standard. Notice the minimalist approach, with no handles or locks, typical of camper vans, in favor of self-closing latches and drawers. The rear bed is fitted with a standard pocket sprung mattress and lifts up to allow easy access to the space underneath it. Finally, there is a cleverly designed, very compact privacy space for a portable toilet. The finishes are of high quality. A great, simple, and elegant design with a truly Scandinavian character. The Cordoba Cruise, produced by Toy Factory, is another conversion that adds a bathroom and toilet to the good old high ace. The layout consists of two functional zones, independently fulfilling their primary purpose at the same time. Lounge has been designed in the same way as many European conversions, with swivel seats. This solution makes much more efficient use of space. The driver and passenger areas are integrated into the living area. Kitchenette has a sink and fridge, but access to the fridge is a little awkward and challenging. You can equip Cordoba further by adding a microwave oven. Bathroom, which separates the living and sleeping areas, is fit with a shower tray and portable toilet. It also has its own camping standard double glazed window with integrated blinds. Cordoba may be configured with independent air heating and parking air conditioning, plus an extensive electrical storage system, backed up by photovoltaic. Overall, the cabin is nicely finished and looks solid. Effective illumination throughout, and the upholstery feels closer to home than a car. As always, the toy factory did not disappoint.
White House's Compass Escort follows a similar functional layout to the previously shown Cordoba. It is clearly a less premium approach, but still almost as functional. Kitchen layout certainly offers easier access to the larger and more functional fridge. There is also a microwave as standard. Although it is a little awkwardly placed almost on the floor in the passage. In the same place where the Cordoba has a small compartment that could be considered a bathroom because of the shower tray, the Compass Escort has a sort of spacious wardrobe that could also house a portable toilet, although there is no ventilation. On board, you will also find a 12-volt camping air conditioner and standalone air heater. Integrated mosquito netting in the entrance door comes in very useful. Another practical feature are the integrated cabin blinds. All in all, a functional package that can be further upgraded by options offered by White House. Worth considering if aesthetics is not your main concern, and the design reminiscent of high-end European motorhomes with a home-like atmosphere is not priority. The base camp produced by Nani Dell is a concept with a distinctly contemporary feel. It has everything you need except a bathroom and toilet. Unfortunately, the arrangement doesn't adapt the driver's cabin, which is a bit of a waste of space. Nevertheless, the interior feels spacious and cozy, mainly due to the L-shaped seating arrangement. As with previous camper vans, two areas can be used independently simultaneously. There is a living room and a bedroom or lounge with a daybed. In the front, which can also be converted into an extra bed, there is a seat that can also be used by two people, with its backrest adjustable to face the direction of travel. A long counter with integrated sink is quite wide, thanks to the body's widening at the level of the windows. Attractive upholstery, good quality furniture, convenient locks on cabinets and drawers, and perfectly integrated controls and switches. There is also a fine discreet air heating system with sleek ducts. but this approach is sorely lacking in the air conditioning and overhead shelving. Convenient doorless shelves are practical, but the overhead camping air conditioner looks a little out of place due to the lack of attention to detail and style present in the lower part of the interior. Stylish interior with pleasant colors and modern design. Interesting concept from non idel Retreat Premium is the perfect all-in-one solution for those looking for style and quality. Starting from the outside, the new face of the High Ace is reminiscent of a model from the 80s. With a two-tone body and off-road tires, topped off with a refined logo. Inside, another surprise, from the cabin, everything is color-coordinated and complemented by high-quality materials. Another expression of comprehensive design and planning is the living space. Even though the layout has no bathroom, the interior is very appealing. It seems ordinary and generic, 
but the detail and execution is key with excellent colors and workmanship. Lounge area with kitchenette equipped with sink, microwave, and fridge. Everything has a minimalist feel. Furnishings are reminiscent of a cozy living room. There are not too many overhead storage compartments, which limits functionality. On the other hand, it does greatly reduce the feeling of being in a cramped space, particularly considering the design of the high ace body, with the walls tapering towards the ceiling. There is built-in air conditioning and independent heating. A well-finished camper van, if only we could get the good-looking roller blinds on the camping standard double-glazed windows to cut condensation and energy loss. Mosquito screens and the bathroom with toilet along with large external insulated water tanks, the Retreat Premium would be an obvious choice. If you haven't seen the first part of our series on the top 10 high ace camper van conversions made by Japanese manufacturers, click on the link below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Happy camping!